Yo, 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 yo. Y'all, y'all, I didn't hit the jackpot, man. Look at, look at, look right now. Right in front of me, they got the river flowing. You know what I'm saying? Goddamn. One of my homies, Pepe. Goddamn, shout out to Pepe. One of his car, one of his slogans is space time opportunity. That's all we got, man. Space, multiply that by opportunity. Man, you can have the world. You know what I'm talking about? So I'm in a real peaceful spot right now. I think it's a good moment for me to hit y'all with some with some thoughts for the day. You know what I'm talking about? Talk about prosperity, talk about peace, talk about uh, you know what I'm saying, not always chasing the chick. Cause think about it, man. If you're spending all your time chasing money, then you wasting you wasting your time, man. You know what I mean? Because nine times out of ten, if you spend all your time chasing money, then at the end of the day, you're going to be having to work again because you, you, you're spending time chasing money so you can have money to spend. You feel me? You're spending on both ends. You know what I'm saying? You're spending on both ends. So it, it's important to not spend on both ends. You know what I'm talking about? Like, that shit is just, that shit is profound, man. You know? And, and, and one of the things I be wanting to say is, you know, one of the things I love to say is, you know, money that you work for is not meant to be spent. And that's because, I mean, look, <laughs> and this is going to sound crazy, right? But a lot of y'all ain't never sold dope, and it shows <laughs> in a bad way. All right, because you can say what you want about it. And, and, and this is going for any entrepreneur, right? Any entrepreneur, anybody where... The money invested is what keeps the business going. Reinvesting the money is what keeps the business going. No, no more than in the dope game. Because, you know what I'm saying? If you ain't paid the plug, you ain't got no money to spend yet. And that's and it's the same concept when I say money that you work for is not meant to be spent. But I'm going to tell you what happens. What happens is, you know, when you work for, when you work a job for your money, you don't value the money the same. See, when you in the dope game, and, and you and you got them break some bread on a pack, all right? The first thing you do after you break bread on the pack and you get off of it is you re-up. That's why Jeezy, look, Jeezy told you, re-up on the first and again on the fifth. The first thing you do is you re-up. Is You know why? And I'm going to tell you why. It's because reinvesting the money into your business is what keeps the business going. But what happens is when you work a job, and I, I, I'm a victim of this. That's why I know this is what happens. When you work a job for the money, the money is not what keeping the business going. Is you going back to work because you thinking psychologically, you think it's shit. Long as I get, long as I go back to work, the check gonna come in. So now I can, I can fuck all this money. You know what I'm saying? Once I pay these bills, once I feed these kids, once I got there and got all the necessities taken care of. The rest of it is what we call what they call disposable income. I swear to God, I hate that term to the goddamn highest degree. Alright? I hate that term. Look how pretty this dog. Oh man, let me see if I can zoom in on old man, old man right here. Goddamn let the dog get a sip of water. A little pretty little bugle. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I bet that dog can find a bird in the goddamn in the woods, boy. Pretty dog though. Peaceful. You know what I'm saying? Peaceful. But yeah, like I was saying, y'all, that 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 that's I hate that term, disposable income. I'ma tell you something. You ain't never heard a entrepreneur, a businessman, a dope boy, a goddamn mogul. You ain't never heard Jay Z talk about no disposable income. Anybody that really got it, anybody that's on the next level in life, they don't talk. Ain't no such thing as disposable income. You know what disposable income is? Disposable income is passive income. You know what passive income is? Passive income is money that you don't work for. It's money that you make without working. Like that, that, that's when you start. That's when you can start to say you have disposable income. And you know my philosophy: bag, b a g. This is bag talk, baby. Business assets gains, b a g. It's an acronym. It stands for business assets gains. Gains. Are, are disposable income because gains come from your assets making money, not you.
Your assets working for you, not you. Your money working for you as opposed to you working for it. That's when you can splurge a little bit, y'all. That's when you got money. That's when you got what's called, I'm going to put these quotes up, disposable income. You see, I keep the quad in the background because, you know, I think it's cool scenery. All right. But that's what's disposable income. Or maybe I could turn around and put the river in the background and talk to y'all with the river flowing. Because that's what money pulled to do. Money pulled to flow. I'm telling you, a lot of times y'all want to stack your bread and you want to sit on it. And that's fine until you find a viable investment. Once you find a viable investment, put that money into work for you, man. Look, money is a tool, y'all. Money is a tool. It's supposed to work. Think about that. Money is a tool. It's supposed to work for you. If all you're doing is working, 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 stacking, 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 then you're losing at the end of the day because inflation is nipping at your pocket. All right. It, savings accounts do not outpace inflation. Infl inflation. Inflation is like two, three, four percent. Your savings account probably gets you one percent annually. All right. And, and so you're losing at the end of the day. So it's OK to stack the bread. I ain't say, look, everybody should have like a, 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 um, a emergency fund. Right. You should have a two, three G's in the bank saved up or set aside. Right. Because you want to have some money that you can access if shit hit the fan. OK. I'm going to tell you something. An emergency is only an inconvenience if you can afford it. Hello. Nugget alert. Try that one out for size. OK. Try that one on and wear that motherfucker. Uh, an emergency is only an inconvenience if you can afford it. And I ain't make that up. I, I heard that Brian Bean say that. That's what I'm saying. I got mentors that I listen to, that I listen to their talk. And all I do is I just regurgitate what I done heard, what I'm learning. I'm trying to teach y'all what I'm learning. All right? But at the end of the day, you want to have a little, a, 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 a little nest egg, a little money saved to the side so when the refrigerator go out, you can spend two Gs on one and it don't bite you in the butt. All right, but other than that, y'all, all that money saved up, what for? For what? Put that money to work. Put that money in a mutual fund. Put that money in some certificates. Put that money in a bond that's going to mature in 10 years when your five-year-old turned 15. Your five-year-old and went from that $5,000 certificate that went to turn into 50 bands. Like, you got to think about that shit long term, y'all. Because what happens if you don't think about it long term is you end up paying interest instead of earning interest at the end of the day throughout your whole life. Think about that, man. Interest is a motherfucker, man. And it's two sides of the money. You either paying interest or you earning interest, okay? <laughs> if you have an auto loan, think about it what your APR is, your annual percentage rate. That ain't nothing more than the interest that you pay for the loan. You paying interest, all right? But if you have a certificate that mature and it's earning you 3 4%, okay, you're earning interest as opposed to paying it, okay? Like I said, it's two types of it's two types of people, man, money makers and money spenders. It's two sides of the coin. All right, you either spending money or you making money. You got to decide which side you going to be on. OK, you it was beautiful. The beautiful thing about America and about capitalism is we ain't don't get mad. Don't get mad because the powers that be are playing chess and you out here playing checkers and you feeling like you're losing. Just learn the rules of the game and start playing it. Play it. Play it with their ass. Play it with their ass. The whole world seemed like their government trying to take Trump down for not for avoiding taxes, for tax evasion. You can't touch that man. You know why? Because Donald Trump is a corporation. <laughs> His money is tied to a corporation. So you can attack the corporation, but you can't attack the man. Right? And I'm going to tell you something about a business. A business pays taxes after expenses. So let think about it. All the money that it takes for you to operate your business, that's first. You got to operate your business first. Then you pay taxes on what's left. Remember, I talked about it in my last video. It's the dynamic difference. The dynamic difference, y'all. It's a dynamic difference between being a business owner as opposed to you know working for a company all right and that's what the dynamic difference is is the tax piece tax finesse is one of the keys to success and if you don't never figure it out then you're gonna continue to play checkers and that's okay you can win you can win at the game of checkers and still be fruitful still you know what i'm saying still be prosperous you know you can still be you can still live a great life look i ain't telling nobody to change up everything they doing i'm saying if you losing and you working and you feeling like like, damn, I, I keep doing all of this, but at the end of the day, I've been working for 5, 8, 10, 12 years. I've been working all this goddamn time, right? I've been working all this goddamn time, but I still can't miss a check. If you've been working for over 8, 10 years, and your check been coming in consistently for 10 years, and you still can't miss a check, then you losing, bro. You losing, ma'am, sis, boo, cub, B.
Whatever. You losing, fam. You lo I don't give a fuck how much money you making. I don't give a fuck how, how good your life is, how big your house is, how good your how nice your car is. You losing at the end of the day. All right. And I'm telling you this because it happened to me. I, I got to that point to where it was like, oh shit, I'm living good. I got a nice house. I got a couple cars to play with. I got a couple toys. I take a vacation every year. And guess what? Guess what happens at the end of the day? If I miss a check, somebody ain't getting paid. And if that's the case, then that's, that's the wrong. <laughs> You're losing. You're losing the money game. And a lot of time it's because you ain't even playing the game. You playing checkers while they playing chess with your ass. All right? And you got to figure that shit out, man telling you man a lot of y'all ain't never sold dope in his souls and the reason why is because one thing a dope dealer is gonna do is reinvest his money into himself into his business before he plays with his money ain't no disposable income that bankroll i'm gonna tell you something that bankroll is the fucking lifeline of the business so you get the pack in you get the pack off you re-up now now you done paid the plug now you can start to see a little bit of money that you can start to play with a little bit but it's the same concept money that you work for is not meant to be spent imagine if you if you a dope boy you buy a pack and then you get the whole pack off and then you blow the whole money you blow the money now what you ain't got no business left it's the same thing we do with our paycheck y'all it's the same thing but i'm gonna tell you why you don't why you do it with your paycheck but a dope boy or a businessman ain't gonna do it with his business because in entrepreneurship the money is what keeps the money coming in see when you work a job it's a different mindset because the money is not what's keeping the money coming in it's your time and your effort going back to work so you don't value the dollar the same you don't you don't value the money the same because you think as long as i go back to work hell i'm gonna have some more money coming in it's the wrong idea man it's the wrong concept you can you need that's why i'm teaching everybody look you got to have the business on the mindset even if you're an employee it's okay to be an employee it's okay to work at the for the for the damn school system board of education if you're a teacher whatever i, I ain't tripping it's fine it is okay to be an employee but i'm saying value your dollar the same way an entrepreneur will whereas okay when your check come in the first thing you're gonna do is pay yourself is reinvest is invest in something all right before you start paying bills before because think about it you pay everybody else when you get paid instead of yourself you get paid at the end and at the end it's called disposable income and you blow that so you don't end up with nothing at the end of the day but the need to go to work that's what you end up with with that mindset is now i need to go back to work so i can earn a check again man i'm telling y'all a lot of y'all ain't never sold dope and it shows all right i'm telling you man look I ain't telling you to sell though. I'm telling you have that mindset of, okay, when I get this money coming in, when I get this money coming in, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reinvest into myself, into my business, into my dream, into my passion. Or if you don't have none of that, put that shit to the side until you do. Okay, save it. It's okay. It's okay to say, okay, out of this check, I'm going to save $200 every month. Save $200 until I find out what I want to invest in. All right, I ain't telling you just to go willy-nilly throwing money around trying to make money with the money. No, if you don't have nothing that you that you have researched, that you know about, that you confident in, that you're passionate about doing, then it's okay to save it. What I'm telling you is don't just be focused on saving, though. You need to be thinking about what you're going to reinvest in, even while you save. If you got more than two, three, four Gs stacked in the bank, then you plan. You plan. You need to take some of that money and go put it to work for you. Cause like I said earlier, y'all, money is a tool. It's supposed to work. All right. Tell you, man. Hey, at the end of the day, get paid, y'all. Don't get slayed, man. We getting slayed. We getting paid and getting slayed at the same time. That's why you gotta go get paid again. All right. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, there's a reason why my motto is that. Get paid, y'all. Don't get slaved. Stop getting slaved by taxes. Stop getting slaved by working these wages. Stop getting slaved by goddamn all this shit. Interest. Interest nipping at your ass every time you get paid. You got to pay interest on something because you're paying off a credit card or an auto loan or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Get paid, y'all. Stop getting slayed. I'm telling you, man. And once you start getting ahead of the money, see, like I said, it's two sides of the money. You either behind it or you at a, or ahead of it. Once you start getting ahead of the money, it's a beautiful feeling, man. Your credit score start going up. Your bank account start going up. You start earning interest as opposed to paying interest. It's a beautiful financial thing, man. And I'm starting to turn that corner. I ain't there yet, y'all. Look, I, hey, I'm with y'all. I ain't there yet. But goddamn, I'll be down if I ain't on the way. Other than that, 
Look, y'all, it's Killer KC. As you can see, I'm in the place to be. All right? Money, militia, financial, y'all. Get paid, y'all. Don't get slayed.